Hey, it's Dave Jackson from the school of podcasting.com where I help you start your podcast and grow your influence. And one of the things I always like to do is help you avoid mistakes. So today we're going to talk about mistakes that happen and we're going to put mistakes in quotation marks that happen when you use the Apple podcast app. So this is when you're, you're checking your show and you're like, Hey, that's not right. And here's what I'm talking about is you, there are basically two different views of the Apple Podcast app. And one of them is what I'm gonna call the search view or the Apple listing. It's the one that you just, when you go to Apple, uh, the Apple Podcast, there it is. And in the bottom right-hand corner, it's when you've gone to find your show, you click on search. And in this case, I've gone over and started to type in School of Podcasting. And so that's the, the Apple listing. The other one is the, sus the subscriber view or the library view. So you can see here down at the bottom, I'm on library before I had clicked on search. Two different views, two different ways that the app is going to act. So let's talk about that. Here I am in Libsyn and this is my description. And you can see I have three links here, but when you look at it in the Apple podcast over here, it's one big giant paragraph. There's no links at all. It's got the one link at the bottom, but that's only because it's a website address. What the heck is going on? Well, here's what is going on here again. I'm in the search view. See how in the bottom there where I'm on the search view at the bottom, I call this the Apple listing. And this updates about once every 24 hours, but if you had gone in, if this was your show and you're like, that doesn't look right. All you need to do is scroll up to the top and click on the subscribe button. Now, when you subscribe to your podcast, you can click down on the library in the bottom of the app. And now look what happens. No more one big giant paragraph and all my links are there. If we go back to what was in Libsyn before, right? There's my description and my full description is in Apple Podcasts because I'm looking at it in the library. This is why all podcasters want their audience to subscribe. Number one, they get it almost immediately. As soon as that episode is available, boom, it's on their device. That listing view that you see when you go search, that only updates about 24 hours. So in reality, it could be 24 hours behind. So the number one thing you wanna do, if things aren't looking right in Apple Podcasts, is subscribe to the show you're looking at and all those headaches will go away. If you'd like me to help you eliminate more headaches, come visit me over at schoolofpodcasting.com and stick around for the next video.